Hey everybody, Ranger Chris here and today I have a pretty short one for you. Let's talk about safes. Safes are a great source of mercers and XP and you should always try to do them when you see them um, on your location. Not only that, but when you talk about prestige objectives, the open safe explosive uh, prestige objective is one of the easiest ones to do and I recommend always taking it. Now I tend to bring an explosive with me anyway, but when you're going to blow open a safe, you need to bring an explosive with you. Whether it's a remote explosive, a micro explosive or a duck, a concussion rubber duck will open a safe. Um, of course there's a breaching charge which you might think is the only thing which uh, would blow a safe open but that's not true. The best thing in my opinion is a concussion rubber duck believe it or not. Okay so first thing you want to do is find the safe on your map um, denoted by this symbol and take mental note so whenever you're on the second floor and the opportunity presents itself you want to make your way to that safe Good day, doc. Evening, doc. okay we're in the right area so safes will uh, light up when you use instinct like this so get your concussion grenade ready just place it nearby Set a trap. Right you notice how quiet that was? You just knocked two people out and nobody noticed. So concussive grenades, um, or rather concussive um, explosives, great way to do it. Okay, here we are in Chongqing and we're going to rob another safe, but I'm going to show you the normal way of doing it this time. Okay, again we see the safe highlighted here and we just walk around the room a little bit to look for uh, these data pieces. So you need three pieces of data in order to unlock the safe. So let's work on that. They usually look like this, tablets or like files, stacks of paper and they all, they're all laptops and they always um, um, show up on instinct as these highlights. Just uh, have Instinct on and run around the area looking. They're always close by. They'll never be on, you know, like they'll never be extremely far away from the safe. So most of the time in the same room, sometimes in uh, the room, one room over. There it is. You need to be somewhat close. Okay, so once we get three pieces of um, data, the safe is unlocked. Now, here's very risky because actually, um, actually opening the safe is an uh, illegal action. If we try to do this now, these guys are going to shoot us up. So we have to find a way to distract them and then open it. Okay, they're all distracted. I open the safe. Let's get out of here, wait for things to calm down a little bit. Whoa. And now notice, now that the safe is open, you can just pick up the mercers and it's not an illegal action. So even if they see you do it, in fact, I'll make sure they see Actually, me I'm do it. So hung up on the okay. He's the big thing. It's not an illegal action. Zero protocol security clearance. And that's it. That is how you rob safes. Now there are two other um, safes in Hitman Freelancer. One in Mendoza and one in Santa Fortuna. These are special safes uh, which have extra mercers in them. Um, if you're interested in knowing how to crack those, I have uh, guides up on either. I'll link them down below. But I hope this video did help you and um, until next time, take care. And see you.